Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a small update. Correctly, on the 28th of September 2023, we bought a domain on GoDaddy. Next, on October 1st, 2023, we connected a hosting to the domain and prepared a blog website. Next, on October 3rd, 2023, we published our first post. The published post is visible on the screen. At the time of publishing, they are high on deals. So we targeted on deals and took a keyword. Flipkart student offer 2023, we updated the content based on the taken keyword. The next day we checked that our post was indexed on Google. While checking, we observed that the post is indexed. To check if the post we published is visible on Google, we copied the taken keyword and searched on Google. While searching, keep aside whether it is visible or not. On Google's first page, the fifth result is related to this keyword you can see it on the screen. Up to now, all the results are visible for our posts, so we started posting content. Next, on the 23rd of October, 2023, we updated 35 posts on this website. Actually, I should say that I targeted 40 days for applying AdSense. For this website, in these 40 days, updating 60 posts is my main target. Apart from this, from the day we started this website, we observed good results from our efforts. Based on these results, I want to take a risk. I mean, before reaching my goal, I want to apply for AdSense. If I get approval, I decided to do a video. If I get rejected, I will get experience. I have taken a decision on the 23rd of October, 2023, and applied for AdSense. Next day, on the 24th of October, 2023, we updated three posts. Until now, total of 38 posts have been completed. Next day, on the 25th of October, 2023, we didn't update any content. Next day, on the 26th of October, 2023, I applied for AdSense, so I normally open mail. I have a reply from AdSense. The reply is also seen on the screen. Totally, in 26 days of starting the website, we got AdSense approval, is what I'm saying, along with saying, um, showing the proofs on the screen, I cleared it with this. As we showed in the thumbnail, we got AdSense approval in 26 days. Along with this, the posts we published are shown at the top of Google. We have shown to you with proofs. Practically everything is fine. Up to here, right. Now let's see. One, why we started this website. Two, how do we select the domain name? Three, where we took the hosting. Four, what did we do to top the website in Google search? Five, what steps are to be followed for AdSense approval? Six, where did we collect the content? What steps do we follow while collecting the content? I will practically show you here the process we followed in this 26 days. Overall, we will share our experience with you. Watch this video with a concentration after watching it completely. If you like the information we shared, hit a like and try to comment to share the content we are putting so much effort. Recently, we got big projects. I am showing you the messages on the screen. We refused all those. Present, we are not doing any work, but putting all efforts into making videos. Apart from that, why did we start this website? Recently, a Shrikanth World named channel YouTuber contacted us. He contacted us for AdSense approval website service. We said we would provide service and accepted all the details from him and started this site. We didn't select any niche or domain for this website. We just took the domain on his suggested name. Additionally, his content is related to tech. So we decided to post content related to tech in this way. We selected the content. Thirdly, from where do we take the hosting present? I use business hosting for this website in Hostinger. I created this website using WordPress, so I selected AdSense friendly theme. This theme name is Generate Press. There is a free theme and a premium theme. In both whatever theme you use, you will get approval for sure. But in this Generate Press free theme, we can't customize it as we like. So I bought the premium theme of Generate Press for ours 21,000s for a lifetime. If you want this theme, you don't have to pay RS21,000. You can buy it for RS499 only with the original license for once. You can check here. Site speed, I can say, based on our site speed, our content will be ranked in Google search. You can ask, like, if I do SEO and keyword research, then our posts will be ranked at the top. For example, take two websites and both websites. The content is related to our keyword. Additionally, both websites updated content with SEO and keyword research. If a user searches for this updated content on these websites, he can see both websites related content. User will select one website content. 
If the select website related content is not quickly visible then, the user will come back and start to open the next results. Like this repeatedly, the repeated users will visit our website and come back from next time. The search engines won't suggest our website results to others by sending them to the bottom. So from next time, there is less chance of ranking the updated content, so the speed is also an important factor. I can say for sure that Google search rank is based on website speed. Remember that without speed, how much good SEO or keyword research we do, we can't see better results. Along with that, if you say only speed is enough, that is also not true for our website. First, keyword research. Second, create strong content on researched keyword. Next, do SEO for the prepared content. Next, do technical SEO means link building, 404 error, instant indexing, etc. Technical SEO has to be done. Along with this user interface, have to nicen site optimization, which means site speed is a must. All these things have to be followed for the started website, respectively. Also, note these things. Third, we optimized our site speed, how much you can see it on the screen. Fourth, using the SEMrush tool. We did content research on the selected topic. SEMrush is a premium tool presently as we know. This is a high end if you want this tool at a low cost, contact us here. By using the SEMrush tool, I did keyword research next. While keyword researching, we keep in mind that keyword density has to be 0 0.1 to 2, 3, 4 volume should not be huge. We will select keywords by considering volume should range between 100 above and 1000 below. These are called low competition keywords. We will select a keyword and add it ChatGPT to request content ChatGPT by generating the content. It will give 400, 500 words like this with 400, 500 words we can publish a post. But this is not at all useful. So we can ask it to be extended or we can ask for a specific range of words by this. It will generate content with 800,000 words in our site dashboard the generated content is pasted. Now we will read the pasted content once. If there are any mistakes, we can correct them or replace them with our knowledge after we copy the entire content in a new tab search for content detector.ai. You can see a website here. By this website, the generated chat GPT content can be checked if it is written by humans or AI generated paste. The copied content and hit generate when we check here for the AI-generated content. Wherever it seems to be AI-generated content, it will be the highlight. It will say that the highlighted content is AI-generate. We have to change this content like this. When we have to change, we use the Quillbot tool presently. We are using its free version. Many people will use its premium versions. Also, we don't have much requirement of it, so we only use free versions. Also, it will work correctly. But we can only regenerate for limited words. So remember this mainly, in this get into fluency in the content detector, copy the highlighted content and paste it here. Now it will regenerate the content and it will give it to us. The generated content is going to be replaced with highlighted ones like this. After replacing again, detect the AI content. The replaced content is shown as human written, or in some cases, it is shown as a written. If it is shown again as AI content, then copy the highlighted content, go to Quillbot, change the fluency to standard paste, the copied content in standard, and hit regenerate. Copied the generated content and went to the AI content detector and replaced the highlighted content after replacing it again. We will detect the AI content. This is the second time. Majorly, it will be resolved. The added content is shown as human written. We will change this shown robotic content until when? You can see the percentage is visible here. This is shown from 1% to 100%. If the percentage is below 50%, it is going to be considered as human written. Above 50% is considered as robotic content. Maximally, we will change it until it is below 50%. Not entire content, only some parts are considered as robotic content. We will only change that and try for below 50%. Once it is below 50%, we will confirm and copy the content replace the post page content with this content. So the content issue is cleared. Now we have to do content related SEO. This is also called on page SEO. To do this on page SEO, we are using a rank math SEO premium tool. You can see that this plugin is also freely available here, but for advanced features and we work in this field. So we took this premium plugin. This premium plugin costs up to ours 5,000 yearly. They will provide unlimited license if you want. You can take it from their website. Also, if not, we are providing the same plugin with our licenses available at Rust 499. 
only we can take it from here. Also, like this, by using the Rank Math plugin, we did SEO for this content. After doing this, related to off-page SEO, that is for backlinks, we selected other websites, how to generate these backlinks using these other websites, for example. See here, this website is A. The other website we took is B. We have to link the contents of A and B and generate these backlinks. Moreover, anchor text, link building, etc. off-page related changes are made. By this, there may be a chance for an increase in the domain authority. I mean, this is the early stage of starting or buying this website. So the domain authority of this website may be low. When we do off-page SEO, like link building or generating backlinks, causes the increase in importance of the domain authority of this website because we can build trust in websites from these search engines. If I say like this, you can say that you are saying all this, then you can explain the process too. All of this is a very big topic. If I explain it transparently, you will get half knowledge and get confused. In the future related to this, I will plan to explain them clearly and practically in a long video tutorial. Like this after publishing a post with proper SEO at the start, our website URLs won't be indexed rapidly. Every time you update the post, copy the link in search engines, we have to place a request for indexing means connecting our website to the Google Search Console, Bing Search Console, and all other search consoles. When we connect like this, our website is new, so the updated posts can't be easily indexed. What we have to do is manually send the request which is updating them, that we newly updated a post on our website. This is called manual indexing. So we do this whenever we update the posts. Not only this, we check repeatedly that the updated post is indexed or not. If it is indexed, then it will confirm. If it is not indexed, then we keep requesting an index again, like this, until a post is indexed. We have to repeatedly request again and again manually by this. You can understand how much effort we have applied to this. Next, along with this, you have to check how is site speed and performance. These site-related speeds are analyzed every time or every day to check. These go to search and search for site speed test at the top. You can see this website. On this site, you can give your site's URL and check present. You can see this website speed like this when you check your site's speed. If your website is less, then you have to optimize your website again. Along with this, you have to clear the cache every time. When you do this, your website performance gets boosted. If your website is boosted, then there will be the chance to load fast like this. If you set everything, your website results will show at the top of the Google. Presently, whatever is visible on screen all this, we maintain this website from the start itself. While maintaining all this, we applied for AdSense. We got a reply from AdSense. You can see it on the screen. We achieved this complete target in 26 days related to this. If you have any doubts, comment below or if you want to give any new targets, then too, you can comment below. We will work on them in the back end and show them to you all.